Hey everyone! Welcome to episode 20 of Happy Little Yarn. My name is Amy and I come to you from Leesburg, Georgia where it's like 54 degrees. It's still winter. Kinda. But you can find me on Instagram as at Happy Little Yarn and you can find me on Ravelry as Punk in Curls and our Ravelry group is happy little yarn if you just search it under the groups tab um we also have in our ravelry group we have a knit along crochet along going on it is the blanket along 2020 if you knit or crochet a blanket um you can enter it i think we've had a few entries in the fo's already they're crochet blankets i think we had two or three so far but you, whips are allowed. Deadline's December 31st and basically just knit on a blanket and you'll be eligible for prizes. Um, also on Instagram you can use the hashtag blanket along 2020 and that'll just follow that and see everybody's progress. But I think it's amazing I've already got finished objects in the thread. I mean, I don't. Other people do, but. I want to finish blanket, but I knit, and that's slow, and I'm a slow knitter. Knitting, well, crochet is faster, isn't it? Crochet is faster than knitting. I need to learn how to crochet one day. Let's see. How many people do we have in the FOs? I think it was three blankets. And one's from, two are from the same person. But there were whips when she entered them. But still, it counts. It counts. That's a lot of work. And the chatter thread we have going on. has got a lot going on in there. So that's really exciting. And if you're a maker and you would like to donate a prize to the Blanket Along 2020, I would highly appreciate it. I've had a few people contact, or a couple people contact me so far. And that's been really exciting. Um, but if you're a maker and you're watching this and you would like to donate a prize, please contact me through Instagram or Ravelry. That'll be fine. Um, so that's pretty much everything that I've got to spill about right now. So let's get to the knitting. I have one FO this week and I don't even think I had it casted on last time when we talked. So they are my totally rad mitts. And let me get a sip of coffee while it's hot. Sorry if that was a really loud slurp, but it was hot. Sorry. These are my totally rad mitts. And they are by the cat lady. The pattern is the cat lady. Um, her name's Andrea. I'm not sure sure how to pronounce your last name. I don't even know if you want it out there so I won't say it. But she is um she came up with this pattern. It's got a little bow right there and I think it's adorable and this lace work and they're just little mitts. It's, they're called totally rad fingerless mitts. Let me see if I got the pattern here in front of me. It's kind of beat up where I had it in my bag and everything but by the cat lady and she these are out for test knit they're in DK weight and worsted weight I knitted the nor wor worsted I knitted the worsted weight and I did the size large and my daughter has stolen them but I stole them back for a few minutes to show you guys so that bow isn't that cute? Yep. So these are my FOs for the week. The yarn is Whips on Sticks. She no longer dies, but it's um the yarn is hexed, I think it was. Worsted weight. And it's just this different shades of purple. It's real pretty. I love it. And I got some left over and I'm going to start a cow and borrowing the idea from her name is Lisa 
and the name of your podcast slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. I'll put it here. I'll look at it up and um she had her name's Lisa. I'll just look it up real quick on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is 72 stitches. And let me turn down the volume. Knit all the yarn podcast. That's right. I don't know why I didn't remember that. But she is like this awesome sock knitter. She just knits socks like crazy for her kids. And I think herself too. But she's got like 49 episodes. I just found her recently. So let's talk about podcasts while we're here. And um, she um, knit this one pair of socks out of hamburger and Felici. That makes me want to knit Felici yarn. And I don't like Felici yarn, but that hamburger yarn was really cool. But she's knitting a cow out of all her worsted or DK leftovers or something like that. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with my leftover thicker yarns. I'm just going to make a cow. She did a provisional cast on, I think it's called. And she's going to knit, like, I think she's doing it on 16 inch ne needles, circulars. And just go around and then kitchen her together, the ends. So I'm borrowing that idea, Lisa. I'm going to do that. So this is going to be the first yarn in that cowl when I start it. I've had one cup of coffee today. I'm struggling. Sorry if I sound like it. But, yep. The Cat Lady, C-A-T-T. -T. Check out her podcast, too. But these are her mitts. And her pattern might be coming out. I think the deadline for these test knits were in March, the beginning of March. So, maybe March or April she'll release the pattern. I will let you know. I will keep you updated. Okay. So, up next, let's talk about whips. And... Oh, I should have took this out of my beautiful project bag before I started because it's going to make rattling noise. But my daughter had a concert the other night and I wound the yarn and I was too lazy to come back here into the craft room, which is not far from the kitchen, to get a project bag. So I just got a Ziploc bag. But I'm making a hat for a former co-worker who is going through chemotherapy. She asked me if I would knit her a couple hats and I said yes. And the first one I am knitting out of Copper Corgi. And let me get the tag so you can see it. She was based out of Savannah, Georgia, but she just moved to Florida, so no longer a Georgian. And it's her Jones Street worsted base that she no longer carries, so there's no real point showing you that. You might find it in a D stash or on Ravelry or something, but it's um 60% merino, 30% alpaca, 10% silk, 210 yards per skein. So I am in the colorway is emerald. Really dark green. There it goes. Oh, well, it's a little bit brighter than what it is, but that's emerald. And I did a double brim. It's no ribbing to it. I just cast it on, regular knitted cast on, and I just knit for, what is that, maybe like four inches. And then I did, um, I did the double brim where I just got the cast on edge and picked up the stitches as I was knitting the next row but there's no really pattern to this I just kind of made it up I just cast it on 80 stitches and knit 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 and I'm knit to 7.5 inches and I think it's big enough now to where I'm going to start doing the decreases I don't really want to try it on because I don't want to like get my hair all in it because my hair just falls out like crazy well not much anymore but it has been if I put this on my hair would fall out a little bit so I'm not going to put it on I'm just going to let her try it on 
and I really love the double brim. It gives it such a clean look. See that? Just that clean line. And it's really thick and it's comfy. It's not going to stretch and, well, stretch a little bit, but I think she'll like it. She was naming off darker colors and she said something like blue or purple, so I'm going to do that next. But she said black, but I only have two skeins of black yarn and that's going to go into my dream knitting, so can't do that. And this is worsted anyway, so um, I'm not sure how many I would cast on with a DK. Probably 90, 85 or 90, I'm not sure. But... 7.5 inches and then I'm gonna start the decrease so I'm right there at the decrease point and look at that pulling it's making like lines and diagonals it's really weird how that does that how does it do that well, that's kind of cool yeah that's my whip one whip I have two whips I haven't knit much this week I knit a lot on those mitts a lot of past two weeks. Started on those mitts and I'm not a lace work lady. It was a little bit of struggle for me the first couple attempts but I got through them. I succeeded and they are beautiful. And I will knit them again probably one for myself because my daughter loves purple and she stole those. She didn't steal them. I gave them to her. She said she loved them and she would like a pair so I was like you can have these. She stole Okay, and I haven't even touched the butt beat sweater. It's sitting right here on this table from the last podcast. I haven't touched it. And there's another sweater I'm supposed to cast on. I just remembered that. Let me write that down. Dream knitting. It's actually supposed to be a test knit, but... Whoops. I'll get to that in dream knitting. But that's my hat on size 8 needles. So if you ever want to do a double brim hat out of worsted weight yarn, cast on 80 stitches on 16 inch circulars US 8s and knit for 4 inches. Pick up the stitches on the cast on edge, then knit to 7.5 inches and then decrease. There you go, there's a pattern. Free pattern right there for you. Alright. Let's move this stuff. I have not cleaned or anything. Laura from Knit for Brains. I mention her a lot, but we talk a lot. She keeps telling me to clean my yarn room up, my craft room up. I haven't done it yet, especially my closet. My craft room is not clean. My closet is full of toys. This used to be the toy room. That's why it's like pink walls, because this used to be my daughter's playroom. We used to have a little sofa in here and a TV and all her toys. And when she quit coming in here, I claimed it as mine. And I put all the toys in the closet. And it's full of toys and project bags right now and stuff I got off of Amazon auction one time that I need to sell on eBay. But I haven't done it because I am lazy. All right, next up is a pattern by Stephanie Lotvin. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to put it on the screen. Maybe the Tertiary Cow? Tertiary, maybe. I don't know. But let me show you the pattern. It's just a little wrap, kind of, for your neck. It's something I've, like I've been looking for, so I'm excited. Um, this is something with two buttons, and I've got the buttons, and I forgot to bring them over here, and I don't know where they are. They're, um, I know where they are, but I'm not getting up because I have pajama pants on. But they're two buttons out of Antler that Texas Goblin King on Instagram did. I think his, he's got a store on Etsy. Go to Instagram, search Texas underscore Goblin underscore King, I think it is. Let me look. I'll put it on the screen and not his Etsy store. But he has buttons and P90 
pins and other things I think Texas underscore gobbling underscore king and that is um, the other half of cherry pie cottage Jared but I got two big antler buttons I'm going to put on this oh I ain't even showed you what I'm knitting what kind of podcaster I am I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee looking at my computer talking this is what I've gotten done so far on the pattern and it's real pretty it's got a little bit of lace work to it just these yarn overs and I'm on the first repeat of the neck part so I've got like a lot more to go but this is Madeline Tosh um, chunky it calls for a bulky weight yarn but I really like this and it said chunky and I'm like how much different could they be what's the difference between chunky and bulky can somebody please answer that for me because if chunky is smaller than bulky I want to know before I finish this because I don't I'll have to make it longer but once I block it you'll be able to see these yarn overs a bit better is Chunky smaller than Bulky? I'm worried now. Please let me know. Please let me know. Nassau Blue is the colorway in Madeline Tosh Chunky. And the pattern's by Stephanie Lotvin. Like I said, she's Telly Bean Knits on Ravelry, or not Ravelry, Instagram. But that's what I got so far. That's the back of it. It doesn't look much different, but... I really wish I had those buttons I could show you. I'll um, show you next time once I get a little bit further on this and I can sew them on. Yeah. I forget things. And I have pajama pants on or I would get up and get them. Okay. That's all the knitting. So up next I'm going to talk about acquisitions and dream knitting. So if you don't want to hear about that, thank you for watching so far. But the rest of it's just basically talking and showing off what I bought. And I haven't bought much. Misty, you'd be so proud of me. Okay, so I didn't take this out of the plastic. I didn't take anything out of the wrap. Maybe I should have did that. But this is Dragon Horde Yarn Minis. And I can't remember the name of this set. If it even had a name, I'm not sure. But, you know, y'all know I love minis, so I'm always buying minis. But I got this set of five. Isn't that five? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. But it's Dragon Horde yarn, and I'll look up, if anybody's really interested in which set this is, I'll look it up. Or you can go on Dragon Horde website and just look for the set with this neon green in it. I don't know which set it was. I just picked the one that spoke to me. And I got it. I think they're fingering. They kind of look thicker than a fingering, but a plump fingering weight. Okay, and then I got some ginger snap yarn. I think this is my first ginger snap yarn. Yes, it is. And hi, Kim. And um, Colin. Hello, Colin. I know y'all watch, so... This is for the winter piece. I told y'all last time I ordered this yarn, so you can't really hold it against me too much. This is for the winter piece cow, or shawl, by Cozy Up Knits. And it's Regal, Vivid, and Wicked on Lux Fingering. There are three slightly different shades of purple, which is perfect. Um, can you see it better back here? They're all similar, but they're all three dark shades of purple. Let me just take it out of the bag. Because I haven't even taken it out of the bag. I want to feel it. Oh, it's soft. That's Regal. By Ginger Snap. And they've got a store on Etsy. Um... Ginger Snap. I'll put it on the screen. Ginger Snap. And it's fingering weight. Lux fingering. 100% superwash merino. 
110 grams, 420 yards. That's Regal. Vivid Pop. And Wicked. This is Wicked. Well, I guess you need 110 grams of each. So, see how they're all slightly different? Very pretty. Very, very pretty. So, thank y'all, Kim, for dyeing that up and making that available. Um, and finally, I got pom poms. I told y'all I got pom poms last time I showed you, and I told you I got more. So, I got another bag of pom poms. And a couple of them I think are the same like this one I know is the same as one I got last time and these are all from Achilles original art on Etsy I'll put the name on the screen but I got that one um, kind of a grayish black one a black one blue one a yellow one neon yellow and I think this one is one I already got a pink one no it's this one no it's not that one uh, this yeah it was that one and then this one is pink with sparkles in it some Stellina And then I also got two keychains, a pink one and then a black one with colors going through it. And the other one's on my bag right now. So this is one. And I think I'm going to put this as a giveaway prize on the blanket along. I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably find a bag with a zipper on it and put this on it. But that's one, two three, four, five, six, seven more pom-poms. I can't fit any more in my drawer. That first little drawer under all that yarn behind that little head mannequin is my pom-pom drawer and I can't fit any more pom-poms in it. So I don't know where I'm going to put these. But those are my acquisitions. Some ginger snap yarn, dragon horde yarn, and pom-poms. I did good. I didn't buy much. I didn't buy anything really. All that was from the previous time and I was just waiting on shipping. So, let's talk dream knitting. Um, there's a cow I want to knit by Lisa Much and it's called Ingot. I-N-G-O-T. I think that's how you pronounce it. But, it is free to download through today, which is Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. Sorry if you're watching this a day late. But I'll put a picture of it right here. It's um, DK weight yarn. You need 320 yards. And I have, this is why I was talking about where I can't knit her uh, DK hat in black yarn. Because I need it for this cowl. And it's got big um, holes in it. What are those called? Yarn overs? They're not yarn overs. They're drop stitches, I think. Yeah. But they're Cafe, Yarn Cafe Creations dyed this. And it's DK weight. And it's called Mascara on her Americano DK weight. 100% Superwash Merino. 231 yards per skein. So I got enough. And I'm going to knit the ingot in this one day. I think this is what I'm going to do with it. I know this is going to be some kind of cow, but I want to make it into this one. I've been eyeballing this pattern for a long time. And she had it free to download. And I think I already had it, but it just called my attention to it again. So, And the other thing I want to knit is a sweater. And I need to find the name of it. Um, it's a test knit, really, for somebody on Instagram which their name is Unwind Knitwear 
she has a bunch of sweaters that she's offering for free to plus size knitters um, if you would just test knit and give her feedback so I told her I would test knit a 2x but I told her I will buy the pattern because she's supporting size inclus inclusion so I want to support her so I'm going to knit 2XL and I bought the pattern and I'm trying to find it and it's called Fine Line and I'll put a picture of it right here. It's um, DK weight and it's got little like Morse code lines going through it kind of. It looks like dots. But it's real pretty and I don't know what colors I want to use. It's one of these colors back here on this shelf I want to use. I've got green cream, red, and gray, all in DK weight. Those four top colorways are all DK. So I kind of want to use the red, maybe with the, some gray stripes going through it, because I think the cream would bleed. Or maybe I could do the green with cream stripes. That would be pretty. I don't know. I have to look at it. I'm just staring at it. I'm not staring at you. I'm staring at the yarn behind me. Sorry. But that sweater I want to start soon. But I need to work on the buck beak. I need to quit my job and just knit full time. I don't think my husband would fly with that. Darn. Oh well. Just knit what I can. So let's just talk now because I'm done with dream knitting. Let's talk about my weight loss, which is zero this two weeks. Again, I'm still at 105 pounds. I think that's what, where I was last time. Um, I was 104. I have lost 105 pounds. So, oh, I haven't lost any weight. And my doctor's appointment's April 2nd, and I need to lose 25 pounds. I've got to quit eating cookies. Last night I posted on Instagram. Y'all can all hold me accountable for this. I made oatmeal raisin cookies for myself and chocolate chip cookies for everyone else. I just, I got to quit eating cookies. I got to quit eating bread. I got to quit eating pasta and rice. Carbs. They're my downfall. And I gotta start drinking another protein shake instead of lunch every day. So I have a protein shake for breakfast, but I don't have one for lunch anymore because I like to stress eat. Yeah. But my depression is better because I went to the doctor about two weeks ago and he upped my antidepressants. And it seems to be working. I feel better. And the sun's out more lately. Not really much, but it's still rainy and cold and gloomy. But I feel better lately, mentally. So, there's that. And I've watched all but the last Harry Potter. I've got part two of The Deathly Hallows. I'm going to sit down and watch it today while this uploads. I don't know, would that slow down the upload time? If I watched a movie on Amazon on my computer? I don't know. But I got part two of Deathly Hallows to watch. It's the last one. And then I'm going to just have to find something else to watch besides Harry Potter because all I'll ever watch is Harry Potter. But, and the tech editing class. I have not done anything on that. I have no motivation to read a grammar book. None. And write a review on it. I have no motivation to do that. But, um, let me stop and start. I was right at 30 minutes and it was about to cut off. Um, and Arnie and Carlos just uploaded a podcast in case anyone's interested. It's 12 o'clock p.m. Um, so the tech editing, I don't know if I'm going to finish that in time. I don't know if I have the motivation to do it even. I had motivation, but then I just lost it. 
I want to do something through the Knitting Guild. I just don't know what. I even have a class I bought that I need to do. And I forgot about it till just now. But finally, I have to get a haircut. Let's talk about that. Now look at my hair. I got it cut about, I got it in a headband. So it's pulled back a little bit. But you see, it doesn't even go to my shoulders. I have to get a haircut. I took my daughter to get a haircut yesterday and our lady said, she started playing with my hair. She's like, girl, have you been losing hair? I'm like, she's like, your hair is really damaged. So I have to go get a haircut in two weeks. So the Friday before I podcast next, I have to get about an inch or two cut off. I'm really sad because I just got it to the length where I can kind of get into a ridiculous looking ponytail. But she said it'll look better if I get it cut a little bit. So I'm going to get a little bit cut off. And we'll see how it looks. I'm not going to get two inches. I, I just cannot commit to two inches being cut off because I need long hair again. I got my hair cut off about a year ago. And it hasn't hardly grown at all. I had it trimmed once about six or seven months ago. I forgot about that. I had it trimmed because she said I needed a trim. So... She didn't cut much off, just a little bit. It hasn't grown. Usually a year after I cut my hair, it comes back out, you know, and it's not out. But that's all I've got to talk about today. My hair problems. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell. My daughter told me that's a term that she hears on her little videos she watches. Ring that bell. Like and subscribe and I will see you in two weeks. And thank you all for watching. Bye.